how are we going to find the solution of a system which does not have a solution? It is of course impossible to find the solution of an inconsistent system. So we are going to change our system slightly in such a way that it is not inconsistent anymore. We can do this in many ways of course. The easiest way to would be to set all right hand sides to zero. But that's not what we want. We want the best solution in some sense. In this video we will see what we mean by the best solution and why this particular choice always leads to a new consistent system. Suppose we have a matrix A which has only two columns. Just to make the pictures easier to draw, we can easily generalize this to more columns. We will take two columns here just for the drawings. So we have a system A x is B, which is inconsistent, A with two columns, say A1 and A2. Now we know that A times x is always a linear combination of the columns A1 and A2. So if we have A1 and A2 over here in the xy plane, then any uh, A times x will always be in the xy plane. Suppose now we have a B over there which is definitely not in the xy plane, then ax is b will definitely be inconsistent. So what can we do? How can we make this system consistent? Now, what we will do here is to solve instead of ax is b, we will compute b hat, the projection of b on the span of a1 and a2, and the new system ax equals b hat will be consistent. So that's the idea. And the solution of that new system, that will be called our least square solution x hat. So we change our system a x is b into the new system a x hat equals b hat. So what are we actually minimizing? Well, by choosing b hat instead of b, we are actually minimizing the distance between any vector in the plane and b. We are minimizing the distance between b hat and b, so we are minimizing vector which we will call z, which is b minus b hat. So that's what we are actually minimizing here. And since that's what's minimized, that's what we call the least squares error. That tells us how bad our approximation is. Let's look into an explicit example. Suppose we have our a 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So the span of the columns A is exactly the xy plane, so we take an easy example. And we have a B equals 1, 2, 3, which is definitely not an xy plane. Well, because we have such an easy A, we can immediately compute B hat. B hat is the projection of B on the xy plane, so that's just 1, 2, 0. So now we have a new system, A x hat equals B hat, so we make the augmented matrix. Well, you will probably see the solution anyway straight away. Well, we form the augmented matrix and we co uh, conclude x hat equals 1, 2. We can solve it straight away. Uh, the difference between b hat and b equals 0, 0, 3. So the length of z equals 3. So our least square solution is 1, 2. And our least square error is the length of z equals 3. So there we have our first example of how to solve an inconsistent system.